We've done a day to night exterior animation, so what about a day to night interior? So let's uncover the principles of what goes into a day to night interior scene along with several other animation ideas to inspire your work. No lame jokes today, so let's jump in. Okay, so before we start, let's take a look at our Illustrator project file. In this project file, we have a bunch of different assets from a stock footage website like FreePix, and we have them all properly layered out so that as we animate each part of it, they don't overlap in incorrect ways. You can watch some of our other videos on animation to learn more about how to properly layer your Illustrator projects. And you can download all of these project files and follow along with us with the link in the description below. Now that we know our Illustrator file is set up properly, let's import it into After Effects. I'll drag and drop the file onto the After Effects window, then make sure the Import Kind is set to Composition, and then click OK. Now we'll have a composition made out of our Illustrator file, and we can start animating it. The first thing we're going to animate is the lighting of our day-night cycle. Start by going to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. Make sure it's highlighted, then go up to Effect, Color Correction, Change to Color. Our composition starts in nighttime, so we're going to change the from color to the general blue of our nighttime. We'll copy that color for our to color, then we'll edit it to be almost black. Next, set change to hue and saturation, lightness to 5%, saturation to 40%, softness to 100%, then set a keyframe for 2 at the start of the timeline. We'll move forward 10 frames, change the color to a dark orange, move forward 10 more frames, and then change it to this greenish gray color. Now move forward 20 frames, highlight all of the keyframes we've made so far, press Ctrl C to copy them, then Ctrl V to paste them, right click, then go to keyframe assistant, time reverse keyframes. Lastly, move forward 20 more keyframes from the last keyframe, set one final keyframe for two, Alt click the stopwatch, then type in the loop out expression in the expression controls panel like this. We're going to be using these keyframes as a reference for all of the other keyframes we do on this project because this represents our day night cycle. And as you can see, we have the colors animated to change the lighting to represent day and night. Before we keep going, we all know that making motion graphics can sometimes be frustrating and time consuming. To help fix that problem, we've made thousands of templates to save you time and let you produce awesome work under one simple subscription price. You can check out templates from all of our packs, including our Motion Graphics Professionals pack, and simply click apply. Now you can easily modify the parameters of the template and you're finished. So if you want to get a head start in progressing your business or career, check out every template we have with our links below. Next, we're going to animate the light beam of our lamp layer. Having a practical light source in your composition is important because it really helps to sell the lighting of the scene and make it more convincing. Let's highlight our light beam layer, press T for opacity, set a keyframe at the start of the timeline, move to the middle keyframe for our daytime color, set another keyframe for opacity, move forward one single frame, and set the opacity to 0%. Now move to the middle keyframe for nighttime, set a keyframe for opacity, move forward a single frame, set the opacity to 100%, move to the final keyframe of the cycle, and add one more opacity keyframe. Alt click the stopwatch for opacity and type in the loop out expression again so that it loops along with the lighting. Now highlight the light beam and go up to effect, color correction, brightness and contrast, set the brightness to 80, then alt click the stopwatch and type wiggle parentheses 24 comma 150. This will add a flickering effect to our light when it's turned on. And now our lamp is animated alongside our day and night cycle. Next up we're going to animate our character layer. Start by double clicking the character layer. Next select the puppet position tool at the top of the screen. And we're going to place pins on all of the key points of our character that we want to put into motion like this. Now go back to your main composition, open the character layer, puppet, mesh one, deform, then highlight and open all of our pins we've made and set a keyframe at the start of the timeline for them. Move forward by two frames, make sure deform is highlighted so that we can see all of our points of animation, then start moving each part of our character layer to change their position just a little bit to create some small movement. Next, alt click the stopwatch for the first pin, 
add the loop out expression with ping pong added in quotations, copy that expression, then alt click the stopwatch for all the other pins and paste the loop out into them as well. Ping pong makes an animation animate back and forth on a constant loop and you can see our character moving back and forth along with it. We want it to look fast like this because we're going for a time lapse effect. We also want the character to disappear during daytime, so highlight the character layer, press T for opacity, and set a keyframe at the start of the timeline. Now move to the middle daytime keyframe, set another opacity keyframe, move forward a single frame, and set the opacity to 0%. Move all the way to the middle keyframe of nighttime, set an opacity keyframe, move forward one frame, set opacity back to 100%, then set one last opacity keyframe at the end of our cycle. Lastly, add the loopout expression again to our opacity animation. And now our character is fully animated. Lastly, we're going to animate the sun and moon as well as change the color of the sky for our day and night cycle. So here we have our sun layer and moon layer. What we want to do is animate their rotation along with the lighting of the daytime and nighttime. We'll start with our sun layer, press R for rotation, Set a keyframe at the start of the timeline and rotate it so it's just before it appears in the window like this. Now move to the keyframe where it's fully daytime, set another rotation keyframe, move to the keyframe where it starts to turn nighttime, and rotate the sun so it goes across the window like this. Move to the end of the cycle, set one more keyframe for rotation, then add the loopout expression to the rotation animation. Next we're going to do the same thing for our moon layer. Set a keyframe for rotation at the start of the timeline. Set another keyframe where it's fully nighttime. Move to the final keyframe of the cycle and rotate the moon across the window, then add in the loopout expression again. Now our sun and moon should be animated to go across the window when it's daytime and nighttime like this. Now for the sky color, highlight the sky layer, then go to effect, generate, fill, turn off the fill effect, then use the dropper tool to set the fill to be the sky's original color like this, then re-enable the fill effect, and set a keyframe for color at the start of the timeline. Move to the middle daytime keyframe, set the color to be a nice dark beige. Move to the full daytime keyframe, then set the color to be a full sky blue. Highlight these keyframes, copy them, then move to the next keyframe on the cycle, and paste the color keyframes. Right click this second set of keyframes, select keyframe assistant, time reverse keyframes, then set one more color keyframe at the end of the cycle. Lastly, add the loopout expression one more time on the sky color. And we're done! A fully animated composition with its own looping day-night cycle. Since we're at the end of the video, this is just a reminder about our free templates for After Effects and Premiere Pro. Go ahead and get them with the links down below, and remember, always be creating.